Hello all, welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for May 25th. I have meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled. As always though, I will shuffle live. During meditation, Spirit showed me an old school fireplace blower. Um, kind of looks like an accordion, like you kind of squeeze it together. But really what it's made for was to regulate and circulate um, the air. But what I really got was that others may discount you. Um, you may even discount yourself, you know, because, you know, you're an old school um, fireplace blower, right? So maybe you don't think that you equate to what other people think uh, you should equate to, um, whatever their preconceived notions are of what that should be. Maybe you don't feel like you um, stand up, or not stand up, but um, maybe you don't feel as if you have, you know, you equate to what you think you should, um, where you should be, right? So maybe in your mind you think that you know, at this particular age, you should be, you know, wherever you set your particular bar at. And maybe you're like, well, maybe I'm just never going to get it. Okay. But what I'm getting with this um, fireplace blower, this antique fireplace blower is the fact that, you know, it may be time for you to clear some things out and get them out in the open, which could you know, regulate your emotions or your thoughts, you know, not, not bottling them in whatever they may be. All right. We have expansive. Connect to the whole. And to me, what I'm getting here is really expand your mind, expand what, expand what you think this idea is expand that thought process, you know, because you might have set this idea that you needed to have children at the age of 30. You know, maybe you don't have children yet. Um, maybe you said you'd be married and, or have a home or have a particular job or whatever, right? and maybe you have a family and you don't have that yet, right? If you set that at the age of 18, 20, things shift, you know, set a new standard for yourself just because you don't have it now doesn't necessarily mean that you're never gonna get it, okay? This also doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, your standards are, are the same revisit what those notions are. Are they even still the same? You know, because if they're not, revisit them and adjust them, okay? We have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, Nine of Swords, Page of Wands in reverse with the Empress. Uh, these two cards came out together. So, what I'm getting here is the fact that, you know, don't, don't be too quick to tread yourself, you know, uh, because I feel like this is really about you, you judging yourself or you even, uh, judging what other people, you know, like you rushing to a conclusion uh, as to what other people think of you, where that could not even be the reality, right? Because the nine of swords is really about uh, this never ending cycle, this cycle that needs to just be broken. This is, you know, you know, maybe you're focused on the past. Maybe you're focused on gossiping, maybe not you gossiping, but maybe you think others are gossiping about you, which I really don't feel like they are. And you know what, even if they are for some of you, who cares? 
They don't live your life. You live your life. Don't worry about what other people have to say, you know. But I feel like your unhappiness lies, um, is set upon what these uh, preconceived notions are of what you, what standard you had placed a while back ago. Um, With the Page of Wands and the Empress, what I'm actually seeing here is the fact that you're constantly discouraging yourself. Like you're not able to do this and you set obstacles in your way or you see obstacles and you're like, oh, you know, like you feel deflated immediately. But you're a fireplace blower. You don't deflate, you inflate, you let air out, right? So it's time to regulate your emotions because you are the empress, male, female, not gender specific, right? You are capable of doing whatever it is you set your mind to. The empress basically takes a seed, plants it, and nurtures it to life and watches it grows and it really babies it and watches the beauty around it right? If the empress sat there and talked uh, and, and spoke nasty words to the seed, well, that seed's never going to grow, right? You have to stop using discouraging words and start using words of love and, and embracing and just nurturing words, right? We have judgment. We have seven of swords and knight of cups. Okay. Really here, this is time for a new beginning. Um, This is time for a rebirth. This is time for you to, again, just let go of a past situation. Let go of your own judgments of yourself. Let go of what other people think of you. Who cares? Right? Because... you're really just betraying yourself. You really are holding yourself back by your own words, right? But if you allow this rebirth to occur, then guess what? Your self-love happens, right? And when you self-love, you're able to be you able, you're able to create the things that you're wanting to create. You don't hold yourself back. You have this self-love. All right? So I'm not saying blow your ego up. I'm saying nourish your ego. You know, the ego can be, you know, your biggest cheerleader or it could be the... The Muppet Critics, you know, that just hackles you. Heckles you, heckles you, not hackles, heckles you. You know, so you choose. The choice is yours. We have this here with with judgment. A rebirth is assured, you know, it's time to let go. But are you going to keep speaking these words? Are you going to, these negative words with the Seven of Swords? Or are you going to speak words of love with this Knight of Cups? We have Wombat Spirit. Um, And Wombat Spirit reads, Be at Home. This is really talking about um, finding yourself at home for yourself. Finding, um, Finding what makes you feel at home. What makes you feel comfortable. You know, because once you find that, that is, and your spirit is at rest, that's when you're able to come into this Justice Four of Coins and Temperance card. This is talking about that balance that we were talking about. That balance within your life, within your 
positive and negative words, that inner critic versus that cheerleader. You know, finding balance out in the world so that once you find balance and you feel safe and home at, at, in, in your own skin, you're able to recreate that out in life, right? With this four of coins and temperance, this four of coins to me is telling me about protecting your energies, really sheltering yourself and really knowing your truth. Stop staying out in the cold. You're not out in the cold. This is not the five of coins. This is the four of coins. You're not out in the cold. Be a little greedy with your time and your energy, right? Take time for you. You deserve that so that you're able to balance things out. I mean, we have justice and we have temperance all, you know, in the outcome. This is seriously about balance, you know, with, with temperance, you're able to create, but you're only able to create if you're able to take the elements and use them accordingly. All right, my dear ones, this is what I have for you for May 25th. I hope this did resonate with you. If it did, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If it did not, please make sure to hit that subscribe button anyway so that I am able to better connect and embrace with your energies here while I do the readings. All right, my dear ones, until we meet again, bye.